Good afternoon, Bermuda. This is Vincent Richardson joining you from the Bermuda Sports Network. Uh, this is the final of the Bistro Cup being taken place between Robin Hood, Robin Hood and Tough Dogs, April 14th, 2012. Just take this time to read you out the starting lineups. For Robin Hood, we have Paul Fox and Glue, Jamie Ball at right back, Grant McCullough, left wing, Gary Adams at midfield, Bond Painter at right, at right wing, Victor Richards attack, Martin Brown left back, Gary Ray midfield captain, Paul Townsend sweeper, Lloyd Hilda striker. Nick Ingham, holding midfield, number 12, um, for subs. Jeff Lopez, Joshua Scott, Alex Balavere, Richard Casey, Kenny Deal, Bryony, Brian Fubler, Derek Stanley. For Tough Dogs, their goalkeeper is Thomas, Darryl, playing left back. T is playing center back. Brown is playing center alongside him. And Robert Marquez will be on the right back. So Simons will be in the center. Pitt, wearing the lime green and purple boots, number 17, will be in the center with him. Kade, Franklin, Hartle will all be rotating off top. Crawford. For their bench, they'll have Otterbridge, Gibbons, Huey, and Souza. Referees for today's game, Mr. Godfrey, Mr. Walday, our linesman. We just on into the proceedings. As we just start to enter proceedings, Welcoming you to the third edition of the Bistro Cup. This will be history for both teams, neither winning or holding this cup yet. Uh, tough Dogs, however, are the league champions. So it'll be a special victory for them because it'll be the first double by any team in the Corona League. Tough Dogs and Robin Hood about to square off in this juggernaut competition. The Bistro Cup Final, brought to you by Bermuda Sports Network, alongside with Robin Hood Pub and Duck Starters Bar and Restaurant. We welcome you to this beautiful day, April the 14th. So far it's very lovely. It's a nice little cool breeze. The players will enjoy themselves. As the referee just points around to the cabin, he sent through his whistle and we'll be off momentarily. As the game starts, Robin Hood in possession. Robin Hood quickly plays it out to the left wing and takes a missed time to touch and it goes out of bounds. Tough dogs and Robin Hood interlocked. Tough dogs. Tough dogs, Robin Hood with possession in midfield. Good hold up play by number 17. So he gets it out to his midfield. He has a good first touch and brings it down to line. Good first touch. And Robin Hood are looking very aggressive this opening passage of play. They've worked the ball down the wing in a good advanced position. Ref linesman Ward, a single signals. It's a throw in. Throw in to Robin Hood who have started very smartly. Working the one twos very smartly, giving some work to the back line of Dock Siders. The tough dog boys better be up and at them. I hope they didn't have wearing down at the Dock Siders last night. There's, there'll be plenty of time for that. There's a header by Robert. Robert gets the head out, falls to number 12. Quickly settles, pushes the ball back. That's Darryl. A head ball, Darryl is into that. The referee blows his whistle. There's a little infraction there. Robin Hood quickly, look quick to reset, and he thinks second of it. Just settling down, push some players up, get their tall men up. Looking for advantage in this 
Little free kick situation. And they swing the ball wide. Number 11, first touch is good. Good turn by number 12. That's Lambert. And he's f and the ref plays on. And this ball is... And there's a foul. I think Marquez was fouled there by the Robin Hood player. So Tough Dog has won a free kick. Just to get a little break of the pressure. Uh, Robin Hood have come out running at him. I say they've had a balance of possession in his opening segment of play, opening two, three minutes. The ball's pushed forward off the free kick. Not quite controlled, but it falls handsomely. One of the dark side players, Arquez. Kade, Kade on the line, works his magic. Kade trying to work his magic there, just run out of real estate. And it's a throw in to Robin Hood. Robin Hood quickly advanced the ball in a good position, and it just takes a little bounce. It's a little, it stays with it. Tough dogs doing a lot of defending so far. Robin Hood not yet able to unlock the key, but are holding the balance of possession. A lot of good movement by Robin Hood in his first opening pass play. Beautiful one, too, by Pitt. Pitt sporting the Mohawk and doing it so well that any other player dare not try. So far, Robin Hood have looked very much the strong and attacking team. Good idea by the striker. Number nine, out of bridge. Just running out of real estate. Left back of Tough Dogs brings it forward, sends it back. It's a little crowding. Tough Dogs trying to build on some type of extended type of pressure. Very good touch. Kade gets a little bit of ball. We know Kade is a player to look at. We know he's very fast. This is Lloyd Hilda. Used to play with the Bermuda Hawks. Hills the ball up very nicely, smartly. As they settle down in the midfield area, and the ball is played across into the midfield. Two midfielders battling heavily for position. Not an ounce or inch of space being given freely in this opening minutes of the Bistro Cup. Brought to you by Robin Hood and the Docksiders. Also, Vincent Richardson, your commentator for today, working with the best network, the Bermuda Sports Network, bringing you and keeping you in tune with the energy of Bermuda sports. Welcome all of our people watching and guests to the Bistro Cup. This is the third edition and is being put together by the two teams, Tough Dogs and Robin Hood. And it's a lovely shot let go by Nick Ingham, holding midfielder of Robin Hood. He's been, you can see he's building, a, he's a very big member of this team, Mr. Ingham. Has a good first touch, and he's always looking to beat, a, beat his player. Painter just fighting for his possession out there. Falls to Kade. Kade sends it to the center midfielder. Goes over to Marquez. Marquez plays it wide. Just want to settle themselves here. They've been on the back foot so far, Tough Dogs. Haven't really had a chance to use any of their creativity or any of their good players, but they will look to build upon this possession. Left back comes up, pushes up for it. Good attacking play. Tad Patch looks a bit heavy, maybe just a bit heavy. And is well, well, well ushered out by Paul Townsend, the sweeper, who's been doing a great job for Robin Hood this year. Paul Fox, the goalkeeper. A few red snappers will live another day. We know he's a great uh, local fisherman, Mr. Fox and Girl, today for Robin, for Tough Dogs. Tough Dogs taking a direct route, and the ball is going, found its way to Mr. Painter, who crosses it back in. The boxing is just cleared off the line by left back. Gary Ray, the captain, sends in a beautiful cross, and it just goes about a foot wide of a very, very smart hatter. Very smart hatter. That was some very smart play by the Robin Hood set up for the, the, by the captain, Gary Ray. Stabbing the ball, putting in a very smart swirling cross. Those are the type of crosses you want with pace. All you need to do is get your head on it, and it always has a chance of getting to the back of the net. Oh, and this looks like a bad play. Robin Hood has 
gave him the ball to Tough Dogs in a very good position. The player cuts back, and it's just not enough support. And it's cleaned up by Mr. Painter coming back and, and doing some good, good defensive work for his team. Trevor Gaudet looked like he's going to go over to take this throw in. Tough Dogs will want to build on that possession. It's a good low hard cross put into the box, and it falls. It looks lovely. It falls, and they think he's going to beat, the, beat him to the race. Victor Richards just holding up the ball up front. Plays it across, and it's some good last ditch defending. It's tough dogs. Haven't yet been able to do too much today. Good ball. Kadei into the center. Tough dogs still staying alive. Tough dogs with some good play now. Tough dogs. Oh. Tough dogs. Oh, just miss. As some good. And, it, and it, was, it was called offside in the end. Um, now, you're just noticing Tough Dog's threat there. They, once they do get the ball, they do have some players who can hold it up uh, on their own. And they almost caught Robin Hood on a good counter-attacking play. Link up between the midfield. Kadei working this wing, working his speed, working this little real estate over here. And he's, he's apparently got or apparently just returning from a 14-game suspension, which ironically was served or was initiated when the last time these teams met in the first game of the season, which Tough Dogs, to my knowledge, won. So it's a bit of history there. Second game of the season, they, they drew 2 all. So it's no love lost between these two teams. They do know each other very well. And this is a big battle here, the tall men, just, just out doing the striker. Striker still fighting hard. Robin Hood, very, very, very tall center back. Get his name to you in a moment. And he's done his job remarkably there. Martin Brown over there doing defensive work. Mr. Marquez for Tough Dogs. Brings the ball forward. Very good right back. Mr. Hurdle, Kevin Hurdle, number 20. Good link up play between Kevin Hurdle trying to find a nice chip pass. Just trying to work the spaces. And catch that back line napping of Robin Hood. And maybe Tough Dog do sense they can, they can attack th through that avenue. Traffic a day. You see, every time he gets the ball, he's being booed by the, by the players. Um, some say he's unspoiled, and that is, that is something that you probably would see in a mixed martial arts more than a, a football game. The player, Trevor Gaudet, is obviously um, a marked man by the Robin Hood team. And every time he gets the ball, they're right on him, and that time they took him right to the ground. There wasn't no card. The ref may, uh, may live to regret that if this game gets out of hand. Had an opportunity there to get the players under control. Just don't want nothing to boil over. Tough dogs looking to benefit from this free kick. It's lined up. Good swirling ball put into the box. And no one takes the opportunity. That's, that's kind of that's sad because that was a good ball just now. Mr. So Simon's putting in a nice swirling ball. But no one, no one took the opportunity, so it just goes by the wayside. Mr. Brown doing some good work. And this is an interesting time. Could this be it? Could this be it? Ooh. And that, and that, was, that was almost in our opening goal. A great counter-attacking move by Robin Hood. Almost found Tough Dogs napping. Victor Richards running hard, keeping that back line of Tough Dogs honest and nearly found him wanting as he rounded the keeper, but was stopped by the last man, Simons, who ran back and defended excellently. Notice Victor Richards has plenty of pace, and he's quick to come down and use his pace against the defense. Ball's crossed in, Robin Hood falls to Hilda, Hilda sets it back, falls to the cap, Paul, Paul Ray, and it goes just wide. Robin Hood have, had about three, about three shots so far. 
I haven't yet really hit the target with any venom, but I've definitely had the, the stronger possession. They look very creative in midfield. Gary Ray moves the ball around very nicely. Paul Townsend, all work well together. Nick Ingham linking up backwards and forward. Right now the ball's being played to Kevin Hurdle. Comes through to the midfield. Ingham, Ray, Hilda. Plays wide. Just overhits it. McCullough. Left wing just overhits it. He's trying to find a Victor Richards in the space. Definitely the ball being held up and taken out into the parking lot. Strong breeze coming from the north. Just getting a little chilly, but the action on the field is hot. Bermuda Sports Network sponsored by Doc Siders and Robin Hood bringing you the Bistro Cup Final. This is Vince Richards as there's a Little two players come together, Trevor Gaudet, ball falls to him, finds his right wing. McCullough just breaking it up there, giving his chance to team to recover. So far it's been end to end action. Really amazing out here. Both these teams have the opportunity to raise the cup. Beautiful cup, I saw it earlier this morning. I was talking to uh, Bob Emmett, uh, secretary of the Corona League and also Secretary of Docksiders. It's a very beautiful cup. And all these players will be proud to put those medals around their neck after a long season. Very good hurled up play. Oh, and the shot cannons off the defender as he sacrifices his body. It's a good cross looking to beat Paul Fox. He's not the tallest of keepers, but he judges it well and he's kicking it out. Got quite a fit on him, Paul. Good foot on him. And this one is played out. Marquez saves it, actually. He falls over to Brown on the left here, left back. Brown looks up. Good play, holds up, holds up well. 13, finds Hurdle, Hurdle into Kade. Cause they were trying to find a one-two. McCullough heading across. Marquez coming up from right back. Kevin Hurdle holding up well, bringing Marquez into the play. They try to work some one-two using the triangles. Very good moves by the play on the wing. Very good ball put in the box, but no one there. And tough dogs. Were, I don't know what anyone was waiting for, but if, you, if you're not going to come in the box, it doesn't make sense getting for the cross. Very good play by the winger, and it's not rewarded. Let's see what they can do off the ensuing corner. Kade, Trevor Kade taking the corner. It seems pretty good. Ends up on the top of the goal net, much to the coaches that may. Sure, he won't be happy with that. So far, it's been end-to-end -end action. Some very good play by Crofton and Hurdle. Every time they get the ball, Hurdle's looking to hold up and bring his midfielders in. Lloyd Hilda trying to settle there, is not able to. Crofton with a great ball to Kadeh Falls. Lovely to him. He looks like he could beat Paul Fox in his last-ditch defending efforts. Was excellent by Martin Brown. Otherwise, Trevor Kadeh will put Tough Dogs up 1-0. That opportunity was excellent. You could just see the genius there of Crofton as he has the, puts the perfect weight on the ball and finds a wonderful piece of space. Kode's cross this time from the corner is much better. It's defended well and it goes up for another corner. So now after opening session where Robin Hood have had the lion's share of possession, we're now seeing, we're just now seeing Tough Dogs come into the game more fluidly now. And we're hoping that they can, maybe they can build something from this possession in this attack. Kade with the course. And this one's put to the back post area and it comes back down in the center. It's not clear yet. Finally cleared out wide. 
Richards looking for something on option. Richards holds up well. Plays it out wide to the winger. Just running out of real estate is Mr. Painter. As we're coming upon the 17th minute, it's been a very, very, very interesting game so far. Both these, both these teams have come to give us Both these, both, these, both these teams have come to give us um, a very good game today. As we just have some... Hey, sir. And we have the ball worked out to the midfield. Quickly cleaned up by the tough dogs back then. And Crofton, who always has a great first touch. Looking for space out on the wing. May find a, a good touch. It falls to. Ball still in. Oh, the ref says it's out of play. Goal kick. Robin Hood. Excellent. Very exciting so far. Paul Fox with the goal kick. We're starting to notice that Tough Dogs does have some, some teeth. They're looking, they're looking a bit more lively. Started a little slow, understandably. Now they got the feel in the game and they know that they, they don't have nothing to fear about this team. They've already got a victory over them. Very good set up by Crofton. You see Cro Crofton is, that one, you, could, you could almost see his eyes light up. As a player just wonders how he missed that. Mr. Brown. What a good piece of passage of play right there. Very good, smart play. Crofton doing a lot of good work. Richards putting his head there for the ball. Hilda not worrying. Hilda fighting for possession. Good back heel to Richards. And that was good link up play by the Robin Hood strikers. Very, very, very skillful players. They're big and they're skillful and they're strong and they can't do no wrong when they're on the ball. I could see a girl coming surely um, from either one of these teams because they're playing to win. No, not an inch being given. You have to earn y your respect on this field. And the cross comes in from the captain. And that's defended out. Knocked out for another corner. And as we normally have the lovely fans of surrounding the game, it's a nice little game there. As you see the pocket of good commentators, they're strong, they're better. That's the Robin Hood mosh pit. They've come to support their team in this Bistro Cup final. Ball across to the back post. It's nothing happens for that one. Just goes over the touchline for a goal kick. Painter takes some good corners. That one wasn't one of his best. Thomas with the goal kick now. Tough dogs making a a good stand so far. They they've had a lot of pressure but they haven't been breached yet 21 minutes gone this first half of play at the Bistro Cup Bermuda Sports Network Vincent thanking our sponsors Docksiders and the Robin Hood good atmosphere down here very good atmosphere some of these spectators have probably watched every single game and they know that their season's ending and they're going to enjoy the last dying minutes of it to the fullest. Very good play by Richards as again, him and Hilder in his midfield of the Robin Hood. Quite a few touches and work very well together like a well-oiled machine, the way they interchange play and pass the ball around. Tough dogs do have their strengths but haven't been shining fully yet. But never know, all they need is a chance and they look, they look poised to seize it.
Crofton is just something nice to watch. Back heels and cuts and dips and weaves. He just feels the pressure of the defender and just turns and twists around him. Brown coming forward very smartly and still fighting for possession. Brown very smartly, forced, forced the hurdle. And that all started just from a lot of hustle by Brown, who I must say this impressed me every time he's gotten the ball. Quickly, Trevor Cadet trying to get back. He does get back, does fall the hurdle, puts in a two-started tackle. <laughs> if this was the Barkley Premier League, he'd probably be going again for 14 more games. Uh, fortunate for him, this is a Corona League and not even a foul was caught. As the ball is wreck wide. Tough dogs. Battling very well so far. It's just starting to get a little bit more edgy. 23 minutes into the first half. The captain, Gary Ray, looking to do his magic. And he's impeded. Robin Hood win the free kick. Nick Ingham, Hood in midfielder. Very, very good news, as always. As always, Nick Ingham is, we have come to suspect from him. Gary Ray moves forward along with the rest of his team. You can see Gary Ray with the bald head, number six. He's the captain of Robin Hood. He's just going on the edge of the penalty area. Um, McCullough, number seven, the, the winger, deciding who's going to take the kick here. Him and Richards are standing over the ball. Richards is now moved off. McCullough looks lined up. He may take it. They also have Ingham lined up in the area looking like he may take it. There's a wall, the five-man wall on the edge of the penalty area. Ref just making sure everything's in play. Robin Hood's lined up some men, all on the top of the box. Don't know if McCullough or Ingham's going to take it. They're both still talking. They're both scheming up something. They look like, uh, they look like two co-defendants uh, coming up with a plot as they try to unlock this tough dog defense. McCullough steps over and Ingham takes a low shot which rebounds into the wall. He plays a pass out to McCullough but I think McCullough thought he was offsides and didn't make, go for the ball. We'll never know because he never went. And Thomas quickly kicks out the goalkeeper for Tough Dogs. And this one's headed wide to McCullough. McCullough just, just out of his touch. And this number 17 for Tough Dogs is quite a fast player. Mr. Pitt in his lime and green and purple boots that he has over there. Looks like, uh, looks like a couple crayons uh, all got fell on his shoes and melted. Those colors, I, I don't know how you get them together. But he's rocking them and look very smart on them. He's definitely doing the boost justice because he's every time he's got that ball, he's beating the right back down there. He hasn't had an answer for him yet. Put in about two or three good crosses. And if Tough Dogs can get some people in the box, I'm sure they can get something out of that. Pitt, Pitt with a very good first, first touch. We're just having an injury. A player's going down. So see somebody rolling on the ground. Just get her number to you. I didn't see the incident, but there was a little, the ball was over there momentarily before. And he's still down. He seems to be hurt, number 14. Is that Marquez? Marquez is down there? That's yes, Marquez. We just have the physio running over. Marquez is. One of the players who is a, a die-hard, tough dog through and through. He's uh, grew up with the tough dog uh, beliefs and system. And he said he's been there for 13 years. I haven't confirmed that, but that's what he told me. I'm talking to him earlier before the match. He's uh, a true, true tough dog. Anytime he's not on the field or working, you probably find him down docksiders or on his way to Darksiders or maybe just leaving Darksiders. So he's just come off the field to deal with his injuries. Physio's going off now. So we all seem about to get ready back to play. The ball was played out for the injury. Marquez hopefully can walk this one off. His ref, his coach wouldn't want to make a sub this early. It's only the 27th minute. 
The throw in's taken quickly by Tough Dogs, and it's stolen by Ingham, and it's played to Richards. Richards links up with Ingham. Crofton swinging over into the dropping back so he can pick up the ball. Braun. Far. Tough Dogs' play has been impeded there. And so the ref has blown the Wilson. Franklin working good one to play with Brown. Just got caught on the shoes there by Ingham. And Ingham comes over and just a professional foul. Just didn't want to let him get an advantage. As you notice, the Trevor Cadet taking the cross in. Bermuda Sports Network bringing you live coverage of the Bristol third edition final. This cup game sponsored by Dock Siders and Robin Hood, two very fine establishments. Bermuda Sports Network, the brainchild of Mr. Lamone Woods, bringing you this wonderful event. And this one's worked over to Pitt. Pitt quickly settles and fires and just 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 le reaching back a little bit and that's why the ball sailed a little high but you can see how quickly with all the possession that Robin Hood have had they haven't had a goal and that's the most crucial th crucial thing it's still 0-0 zero, zero. 29th minute this Bistro Cup final good kick out Kevin Hurdle working working his magic he falls to the ground Sometimes when you're big, you don't get the calls. The ref, ref calls. He's just going to sort it out. Ball's coming back. I think he's calling the foul. He's calling the foul on Tough Dogs. So it'll be Robin Hood's free kick. Robin Hood, James Ball, kicking the ball. Ball with a big kick. Goes the direct route. Oh, Townsend, Paul Townsend there. Stand corrected. Gary Ray, just a little bubble pass to Brown. Brown collects it quickly in. Very good link up play. Brown with a good first touch. And his foot is. <laughs> I thought his foot came off, but it was just his shoe. Yellow card by the ref. Ingham beaten for the second time consecutive by Brown. Removes his left boot. Right boot, rather. And the ref donates a yellow card to his savings and loan. And the ref just putting Ingham's name in the box there. Brown with an excellent first touch off the one-two. Him and Franklin have been keen to seize the opportunities when they're available to work that one-two. Brown and Franklin. Now we see Simons with the free kick. Tough thoughts. This ball is swerving and dipping. Simon's ball. Kevin Hurdle gets ahead to it, but he doesn't generate enough power. His angle was bad on his header. Good, good stop by Tough Dogs. Ball's worked out. McKellar misses that one. And it's going to be a Tough Dogs throw in. And Marquez is now back on the field, and we're all happy to see him back. Sad when players get injured in the finals. I, I feel, I always feel it's sad because they've played to get their team in the final, you know, several games and, you know, these things happen. But it's just sad to have to sit out the most important game when, when that's all you've been building up for. Robin Hood trying to get a little bit of possession to get the ball back. Working very hard is this Tough Dogs midfield. Jamie Ball from Robin Hood, doing a bit of cleanup work there, McCullough. This one comes back in, Brown. Looks like we're walking a little gingerly. Maybe he was just lining up his shot. It's on target, but it's not, not gonna be Paul Fox from that distance unless you got quite a bit of power behind it. It was lacking in power. Placed on target though. Good strike. Richards, Victor Richards, just doing what he does best. McCullough with a good step over, good lift. It's into the box, falls to Ingham. Ingham chest, he's looking to pick out a pass. It's just broken up by Brown. Gary Ray quickly 
quickly receives and puts it back in the mixing bowl. And it's taken smartly by Thomas, the goalkeeper, who distributes quickly to Pitt. Pitt looks forward to Crofton, Crawford holding. He's so loved, he just feels the weight of the player, where they are, the defender, and just rules and turns accordingly to find space. A very, very gifted player. I watched that same sort of action all day this morning um, by David Silva, Manchester City's uh, magic midfielder. As he just cut Norwich apart today. I think the final score was 5-1 or 6-1. David Silva was just constantly weaving his way around the fielders. And here we have Ingham, played into the possession by Richards. Good recovery by Braun, as he had a long way. He had to make up some 10 yards there to track back. Victor Richards quickly to the free. Oh, was that a handball? Oh, what a fantastic save. But it's fun as in. And you know who it is. You know who it had to be. Followed in by Lloyd Hilder. The Hawks, Bermuda International. And he's come over and he's put these guys on, on up. Ain't that something? Long game. We were just seeing. He was going to score. And it's Hilda, the International. Some good build up play. Ingham had shot block. Richards had his shot block. Hilda, following up off the rebound, tucks it into the net. Yeah, the keeper no chance. Keeper's out of position from a fine save he had made earlier. Thomas. And I would have to say, having so much possession, so much quality chances, that Robin Hood are fair, deserve for that goal. Now let's see how tough dogs respond. It's all about the response. Next goal could settle the game. Robin Hood, if they get it, They'll be up 2 nothing. Pitt fouled there, out there by McCullough. However, if Tough Dogs get it, they'll equalize and they'll be all to play for. It's just a free kick there. Ref doesn't show his card, just has a word with the players. Pitt doing some damage over there. That girl coming in the 32nd minute of play. So it's a 30-second minute goal that separates these two, two teams. Lloyd Hilder, the former PHC Bermuda Hog, in the right place at the right time. And a striker of his caliber is not going to miss from that distance. Marquez settles, looking to get the ball forward. It's quickly cleaned up. Paul Ball. Ball's trying to look for Ingham out there. Falls to Kade. Kade trying to work this line. Him and Braun work good together. Braun, heard of. Braun fighting for the ball. Good tracking back by the striker. And that's how you keep, that's how you win goals. That's definitely how you win games. You got the goal scorer coming from up top to the last, being the last man of defense. It takes team play to win trophies. This is a great ball by McCullough. Finds Ingham. Trevor McKay is covering for Brown, who's just coming back. Excellent. Brown. Gay. Captain heads up to Ingham. And the ball goes down. The ref not having anything about the pinnacle. Gary Ray tries to cross it in. It went over, it's going to be a goal kick. Thomas. And right now, it's looking fantastic. McCullough gets the ball over. Ingham heads it in. Richards fighting for possession. This Richards is fantastic. He's trying to pick out a player here. The player didn't see the play. Just, just apologizes for not making a run to Richards. Richards has been doing good, good work for his team. It was his initial shot that was blocked that led to the Lord Hill to rebound and the one nothing lead by Robin Hood. So far, it's been really, really, really good action. We're enjoying this all the way. Thanking Bermuda Sports Network, uh, the Corona League, the Bistro Cup, Robin Hood, 
Doc Siders, for making this possible. BFA. Corona Extra, Rubis, Dockside Apartment Wrestling Work, Sign Works, Transact, The Pro Shop, Selectron Limited, TKO Fun Adventures, IslandStats.com. As Thomas quickly distributes out the pit, and McCullough's not giving pit any more space, he's learned that pit is a very, very quick play and a very uh, deceptively fast player and he's not giving him any space he's closing him down and that 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 seems to be the difference so far in the game the Robin Hood players are all working the all closing down together uh, just a little bit of um, just relaxation by the tough dogs when they don't have the ball and that that so far to me has been the big difference as we have Simon's return on the field uh, from a, a brief break. Just getting a little breezy here as the sun hides behind some clouds for a moment. Bermuda Sports Network, the only network bringing you live commentary of the third edition of the Bistro Cup. As McCullough is found on the left wing, he tries to find a nice cross, but it doesn't really come off too wonderfully. Good rebound. I think I didn't think the ref would be harsh to give that one as a Nick Ingham balls falls to him. Want to give him a handball for that one. Ball came to him too fast. He couldn't do much about that. And this is just a little one, a little break in, in the pressure. Midgay trying to find Crofton. Crofton back to Midgay. Oh, good day. His pass not in the right place. Crofton working hard, turning in and out his player, finding a good ball. Crofton reminds me a little bit of Tevez, Carlos Tevez, as he doesn't give up easily. And once he's got the ball, he's always working. And when he doesn't have it, he's working to get it back. Brown tries to fix his mistake. Very good, a smart move. 17. Pass put behind Richards there. Crofton turns. He's going to shoot. Decides to play the ball across, and as Simmons miss kicks, and may want to check his boots after that one, or, or get rid of his boots. Pitt is putting on a little dribbling clinic for a moment there, and now Hilda looking to gain advantage. Thomas just going to send this one up, win holding the ball up there. Ingham Brown coming together, Brown winning that one. It's Trevor Cadet working and Ingham keeping tight to him. Painter. Crofton working his match at the top of the box. Finds Pitt. Looks for it back. Pitt. That one broken up by the number 22, Jamie Ball. He's been fighting hard back there. Victor Richards. Some very good work by the Robin Hood defenders. They work very well together. And Victor Richards is sprinting after that one and just goes over the line before he can get to it. Gary Ray having a good game so far. Gary Adams having a good game as well. In the midfield there, holding up, controlling the play. Gary Adams again in, in, in play there. Ball comes out the ball. Richards fighting for the header, loses out. To Fabler there. Darrell, Darrell defending, Ingham with a 
Halacia shot Gary. Works it out wide. Let's see what they can work from here. Painter puts the ball in and it falls to Huda. And Huda was probably two inches from putting his team back up because that's the hit the wrong spot on his head that time. Just trying to get up over and get enough power down on that ball to push that one back across the keeper. Just getting off and going out. Robin Hood trying to turn the screws right now and put pressure, some more pressure on tough dogs. Jamie Ball works this one out. The painter, painter works a great one too with Ingham. Ingham is a very gifted player. Painter in acres of space. He tries to find a, a crotch, but it's just too, too high for Hilda. Even someone as tall as Hilda couldn't get that one. Excellent. Absolutely amazing. You just see that the 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 link up play between the wide man, Painter, Ray, Ingham, Adams, the all working to get the wide man and then get the ball service inside to Richards or the Hilda. Nick Ingham working his magic. Simons out quickly to Brown. Brown charging down this left. He looks up at the goalkeeper. Just a little far out. Plays a little reverse pass to Kade. Kade puts Painter on the floor. It looks like he wants a second serving. Simons had a earlier slip with his shoe and I don't know if he's got on the right shoes yet but he want to put the ball down maybe about 10 feet lower <laughs> it's a whole lot of a whole lot of good vibrations down here as the Robin Hood faithful have not only brought the fighting spirit with their team but they also got the supporters tough dogs and Robin, ooh, Robin Hood just trying, almost unlocked again the Tough Dogs back line. Crofton working hard for his team. Marquez is, looks like he switched sides of play now. Simons, very good first touch. Simons and Marquez. Simons looking up, finds Crofton in the penalty area. Penalties, very good opportunity. Oh, Paul Fox would have a wonderful save. Ball cannons off the clearance. And ref is, that looked very suspicious. No response by the referee. But that looked very suspicious. I may want to have another look at that one. That was extremely suspicious. As off the rebounding clearance, the ball hit off a, a, a Robin Hood player. It fell to Crofton. Crofton had the advantage, and I believe he was taken out. Foul through by the linesman. Kadeh would want to do better. Those are the ABCs of football, and Mr. Kadeh knows better than that. And we hear the players uh, letting their feelings be known. Kadeh and Painter battling it out on his left side of the field. Gary Ray, the captain, with the throw. He'll be happy his team's leading 1 0 right now, and it's not too much time left in this first half. It's 45 minutes, just extra time now. So right now, we're in the first minute of extra time. That's a free kick. And it's been exciting. It's been very exciting. This match being brought to you by the Bistro, Doc Siders, Robin Hood, Bermuda Sports Network, and me, your commentator, Vincent Richardson. And that's halftime. That's halftime, and at halftime, it is Tough Dogs down to a wonderful strike by Holder, uh, catching the keep out of position off the rebound, putting his team up, one nothing. Robin Hood, one, Tough Dog zero, and that's after half. And that's the first half of Spade. We just had 
one yellow card. Uh, it's been a very, very entertaining first. Neither team has given an inch, and we expected that knowing the history between these two teams. So far, it's been mouth-watering stuff, and we hope you've enjoyed the first half, this Bistro Cup final game. Um, now, it's going to have to, we don't know if it's going to be some subs, but there's definitely got to be some changes of attitude, some tactics changes by Tough Doss because they're just not doing enough um, in this game right now to either get back in it or win it. Very, very interesting stuff so far. Very, very interesting stuff. I'm highly entertained and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Just going to take a break. We'll be right back to you. Bermuda Sports Network bringing you the Bistro Cup. 2012 third edition between Robin Hood and Duck Tough Dogs and Robin Hood are, lead, are leading Tough Dogs 1-0. to nil. This is your commentator Vincent Richardson. Thank you very much. See you when we return. Bye.